The fifth game in the Indie Games Uprising 3 is Smooth Operators. Create and build your own call center in Smooth Operators. Develop client relationships while balancing your financials and workload. Plan an efficient operation through micromanagement of your workforce. Can you create a successful call center? All right, so let's get into Smooth Operators. Call Center Chaos. We'll start a new call center. As the description uh, talked about, this game's about starting your own company, a call center, trying to manage it, trying to make profit, and manage your, your employees, making sure everyone's completing their workloads and making sure everyone remains content and satisfied, or at least enough that they won't quit the company. Oh, that's right, we have to name our company. Hmm. All right, how about this? I think that's a fine name for a call center. Virtual Horror Call Center. Uh, we can just go through the, the uh, tutorial. All right, now we start off with one contract. We can increase that, but uh, I think that for right now, we really just want to do what we can with the one. Okay, so here's Ill Bleed. It's very small, very tiny, not even any traps. We have a large amount of property, though, that we can build on. Yeah, so we can build all across that. We can also build upwards, up to floor 40. But we can't do that quite yet, because all we have is this little lobby. All right, so what do we need to do? We need to build stuff. And we start off with $20,000 worth of cash to build stuff. Alright, so we have different buildings we can build, and different staff can be in these buildings. Oh, tip of the day, make room for transportation from the start. You will appreciate it later on. What it means for transportation is that you can choose a variety of transports from one floor to the other in your building. You can start off with the basic elevator. Then apparently you can unlock pneumatic tubes through which your employees can be shot through the building, I guess. And then teleporters. Teleport pads. And that's only for the most luxurious of office buildings, though. So. Alright, so what can we build? Buildings. We have operations block, service block, office block, uh, food, sanitary, and recreation. Yes, toilets optional. We could build a, a call center with no bathrooms. However, if we do that, our employees will leave whenever they have to go. I think that's quite unprofessional. They can just go where, where, you know, where they are. That's why we hire janitors. But we'll build an operations block. I could build it on top here, but I think I'll build it to the side. Just to have sort of a dedicated uh, area for operations building all these blocks and I cannot build higher than four floors I need project managers to be able to figure out how to build higher than four right now however there's no way to get up to those floors so I am going to build an elevator because I can't build a teleporter yet oh, I've cheated an objective and I got money for it I don't know who's given me that money Elevator right there. Actually, thinking about it, I probably should have put a space between these two and put the elevator right next to the front door. That, it's probably something I should have done. But, whatever. We have to live with our mistakes, after all. This is Illbleed, and there are no second chances. Alright, so now that we've built that, we can hire staff. We can uh, hire operation staff. Whoa, hold on. No, that's the building. I want operation staff. Okay, we can get inbound agents, outbound agents, and back office agents. Right now, we're going to start with inbound and outbound. Because you can see the workloads in the upper right-hand corner. IB and OB are the only ones with workloads. BO, not yet. And he immediately leaves to eat something. Because we did not build a cafeteria in the building. That, that's fine. Some of our, some of their co-workers, obviously have uh, have superior work work ethic. They're not leaving. Now, at, okay, got another achievement. As I hire employees to to uh, to handle calls, 
the cash on hand goes down as I hire them, but cash goes up as they do their jobs. Now that I've done that, uh, let's see. I actually might want to think about building a restroom. Maybe. It's 2500 I can't afford that. So I guess you're just going to have to uh, leave the workplace and walk back home if they need to go to the bathroom. I think they could just go out the window, though. That seems like the most convenient solution here. I'm playing this at 1x speed. We'll speed this up to the maximum, which is 5x, and see what we do. We can select each of the employees. They each have a name. Okay, out of the way, achievements. They each have a name. He's Hugh. He's thinking things. He's thinking we need a restaurant. And the elevator is slow. Yes, I know. We don't have money for a teleporter. He thinks nothing. Oh, he's thinking money, money, money. That's a spirit. It seems that a lot of my employees are only thinking negative thoughts. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's half and half, I think. We can change schedule, we can change salary, we can move them to workstations, uh, put them on vacation, or fire them outright. So, I guess you could take the strategy of your employees just being fodder, basically, or you could actually take the time to try to build up individual employees, raise their salary, give them vacation time, and I think you can also educate them, pay for their schooling. Of course, if you do that, it's going to be a risk if they quit, because then you invested a lot of time and money in f uh, for nothing. But it's closing time. It's midnight. And we did well on the outbound calls, but on inbound calls, we did not do enough. So we got a, a little penalty there. I guess that means I'm going to have to hire more inbound call people. But there is a bunch of stuff that we do need to do before we can make that happen. Saving takes a while in smooth operators. I'm not sure why. Everything just sort of stops and gets real choppy when I have to save. Okay. I have enough money now to build a bathroom. Well, I don't see why they can't just use the window. But if it makes them happy, uh, we can also build a cafeteria. I'll put that up there. All right, so now they have less of an excuse to leave during the day. There's also another building here, the recreation building. We can build recreational facilities for our employees to stretch their legs. It says we won't regret it. It's expensive, though. It's 4000 I mean, can't they just, I don't know, do aerobics at their desks or something? I mean, it's not a vacation. It is a job. All right, morning comes, and it's time for our employees to get back. Any time now. Here they come. We can hire... Oh, yeah, janitors. There we go. I was about to mention we can hire janitors to act as night staff to clean up the place. Because you might notice it's getting dirty. Our employees are pigs. They know... Yeah. They know we don't have any janitors on staff. They know we don't have the money for that. They just, like, they just throw their garbage right on the floor all around them. And they know no one's going to pick it up. The only one to pick it up is them. They do it anyway. And they want me to spend money I don't have to hire janitors to clean up their mess. Is that fair? Sometimes I think I'm the only one who, who gives a damn about this company. I mean, sure, to them it's just a 9 to 5. They're watching the clock the whole day. But I have such responsibilities on my shoulders, I have to keep all this going. Hmm. You know, you may notice that now there is a workload for back office. So I am going to have to hire some people for that. To do that, I'm going to have to build a new operations wing. Other things I could use that money for, but we do need some people to handle the back office stuff. Let's get some back office guys in here. Other staff we can hire include the manager. We can't unlock. Uh, he's not unlocked yet, but he makes our employees miserable, but makes sure they're more efficient. The coach, operations coach, whose job is to improve the moods of our employees. I I don't know. I guess she's there to offset the mood uh, 
the mood decrease from hiring managers. Because if they get ups if the employees get upset enough, they will quit, and I'm sure we'll be seeing that. For one re for one thing, um, oh, looking at the uh, workload in the upper corner, all of our outbound stuff is done. Inbound stuff mostly done. Back office pretty much nothing. So hopefully tomorrow will go better. But we will get a penalty for that back office stuff anyway. Yeah. Yeah, one thing that's going to be decreasing our employees' moods right now is that there are no janitors. That this place is basically a trash dump. It must, must stink in there, because no one's cleaning it. And everyone's just leaving their garbage and their lunches lying around. Alright, here they come. Oh, IT techs. You know what that means. It means my computers are going to start breaking soon, so I'm going to have to hire people to, to repair them. Still have to hire these agents, though. And I'm going to have to build an entire new wing for the IT guys, because if you look at it here, IT is under service. So service, they don't want to work in the operations blocks, they want to work in service blocks. I have to build, I have to spend twenty-seven fifty on that. All right, I've gotten some back office guys in here. Hopefully we can get enough work done so I stop getting penalties and hopefully the money starts to come in enough that I can I can build a service wing and get some IT guys in here before my computers start needing to get repaired. They're working well so far. I wonder what these guys are thinking about. Yeah, crappy handwritings. I know what I know about that. Don't scream at me, right? You can't tell the customers that though. Well, I mean, they seem oh, they seem okay. That one is not mostly positive. Yep, that one isn't is not either. But overall, uh, okay, outward bound. Uh, st yeah, outward still. Got all, all the way done. Inbound. Not good enough. Back office, though, is doing okay, considering how bad it was yesterday. But basically, this is how Smooth Operators works. You have to try to build your own company that's going to get this workload done, that's going to keep your employees happy enough that they don't leave. Okay, we still got a penalty on inbound, but not on back office, so that is something. And as you get, you start to get this under control, you get new contracts, which increases the workload, which is going to require you to spend more money that you don't have on more wings of the building and more staff that you can't afford. Because no one understands, man. No one understands how hard you have it. They're just thinking about themselves. I mean... I, I didn't have to build them a bathroom. I could have hired IT guys instead. That was a choice I made for them. I gave I gave back to my employees when I built that bathroom. They said I was breaking some kind of laws by not having the, the bathroom there. I think they were bluffing. I didn't give in to that, you know. Okay, let's build a service wing. In the service wing, we can hire janitors and IT guys. No, I don't really get why they're both in the same wing, but they are. IT staff is going to be more important once those computers start breaking. Because when a computer breaks, the employee who works there cannot actually do any work until it gets fixed. Okay, there we go, yeah. You can see that one of those computers is on fire, and that IT guy is kicking it. He's, he did it, yeah. Another another one's broken. Yeah, he's kicking it. And that's how you fix a computer. That's pretty much how it goes at my workplace. They catch on fire and someone comes out and starts kicking it until it starts working again. And of course, when they're not doing anything, they're just sitting there playing World of Warcraft. We all know that. I know that they're wasting my money, but we have to have them on hand for when they're needed.
So we got a couple of IT guys, and they were uh, managed. They managed to put out a couple of fires in these computers here, which keeps my work uh, my workplace going. But looking at the uh, the workloads, none of them got completed. And I got another penalty for inbound. Still, I have enough to hire another IT guy. I'm going to want to hire four, I think. Because when these computers all start going down, you are going to need that load. May seem like a waste of money right now, but I do need them to keep things going. I won't let them know that, though. They want to raise. Alright, three guys, and... No, I, bu uh, I built the sanitary and food facilities. I can't see how going home would be closer than those. Maybe if the building's really wide. Maybe in that case. The one type of wing we haven't built yet is... The office. Which is for office staff, the account manager, project, project manager, HR manager. Those, of course, are the big wigs. They don't do the actual work, but they figure out what work everyone else should be doing. Alright, let's get a fourth IT guy in there, just so I don't have to worry about computers. Overall, I think the game has a pretty good look to it, a pretty good aesthetic. Whether it's the type of game for you, I mean... It's basically a game where you're just kind of making decisions, and if you have it sped up on the max speed like this, you are making them pretty quickly, especially as you expand the company. Because once you get bigger, things just keep happening non-stop. As for right now, however, we're kind of at an impasse because I have to wait for my money to increase so I can build a new operations wing so I can hire more guys to do the, uh, yeah, inbound and back office stuff. Needs to be bolstered because we're not coming anywhere near close to finishing that each day. And I'm taking a penalty, me personally, every day that they don't get the job done. And then they keep asking me, why don't we have that recreation wing installed? Well, this is why. Yeah, see, double penalty. Don't even have enough money to, to hire janitors to clean this sty. You know, OSHA's gonna get all over me for that. That can't be healthy. At least I got a little reward from whoever's paying me for these achievements. Almost have enough for that new wing. As far as what the objectives are, you might wonder what it is I'm working towards. Basically, as far as I can tell, I want to be able to have a, a company that's not on the verge of collapsing and able to get all the work done and keep the employees at least somewhat happy, and then at that point take on additional contracts which, like I said, is going to require me to expand further. But as you can see right now, we're nowhere near being able to do that. We can't even handle the Michael Arts Corp contract, let alone whatever else there might be. All right, here they come. Okay, I can hire operational coaches to increase the mood of my workers. But that is a luxury we can't afford right now. Managers and coaches assist. They don't actually do the work themselves, but they assist with the efficiency and moods of my workers. Like I said, I can't. I, I just can't afford that. I need to, to build the swing. I need to hire more guys to handle inbound and back office. Because it's just not getting done night after night. Okay, an inbound guy there. Okay, got some additional money, so let's see. Inbound. Nope, yep, there. Back office. Back office. We haven't gotten yet to the point where employees start quitting. That's fun, where they start quitting one after another, and then I have to spend a whole lot of money to replace them. 
Again, they just think about themselves. They don't think about the future of Illbleed. What did I unlock before? Oh yeah, the manager and the coach. Well, maybe we can build another... Okay, yeah, the workloads are going down pretty well. So maybe we can build another wing and hire some managers and coaches. Maybe we can afford that. Inbound still could use some help, though. Or maybe we could build a service wing to actually hire some janitors to clean this place. How about that? It's been six days in a row, and no one's cleaned anything. And they just they just drop stuff on the floor. Oh, well, one good point. We did not get any penalties tonight. So we are doing, uh, we are doing better at covering this workload. I suppose whether you would enjoy this game really depends on how much you like sim games. It seems pretty well made as far as that goes. I can hire project managers. He says that, uh, let's see, the project manager... I was reading that. It says that he can unlock things to improve the performance of the business, educate workers, upgrade buildings. So if we hire project managers, they start to unlock new options for us. But... Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Nah, actually, nah, actually let, let's actually get some janitors in here. Just, It's just kind of bothering me. Okay, there's the wing for janitors. Let's start hiring janitors now. They're going to go home because they only work at night. This at least will make my, uh, my staff happier. Start cleaning some of this up. I don't know what these guys do to these computers. Like, what are they doing to make them explode in the middle of the day like that? Look how many are on fire. That's, that's money lost. Those are calls that cannot get made. Because we're, we're relying on computers. We'd be nothing without them. Illbleed would go out of business if we did not have these computers. I'm not entirely sure what we do, but they involve computers and phones. Yeah, a lot of that inbound stuff did not get completed today. But at least we'll have some janitors to clean up at night. Yeah, here they come. Here, here come my janitors. Yep, start sweeping. It's a week's worth of filth in there. Oh, we didn't get any penalties. Great. So I think that this is probably going to be uh, where I stop. This is kind of going on for a while. Smooth Operators is a game that you can, if you like it at all, it really can go on for a while before you stop playing because it just kind of goes on like this and you keep trying to expand and improve and get your workloads done on time and hire new staff to expand your office building and into new contracts we never did get to build that recreational facility though that's a shame But at least we got to clean up this building. I mean, that makes me feel good that we actually got to clean this place. But, you know, look at this. It's almost morning. My employees are, you know, such pigs that four guys working all night could not clean up their filth. Yeah, it's morning. And time for my janitors to leave, time for the workday to begin. So like I said, that's smooth operators. Uh, account managers would allow us to expand to new contracts, but we can't handle that. We can barely handle what we have now. It's the fifth game in the Indie Games Uprising 3. It's pretty good. 
Uh, I mean, I think that this is really going to depend on what kind of games you like. Uh, and if this sim style of game is something that you feel you'd be interested in playing for a while. And I do mean a while, because this is not really a game that you you play for like 15 minutes or a half an hour and then stop. This just kind of keeps going and going and going, because it takes a while to reach any particular goal. I mean, I've been playing for almost a half an hour now, and I really have not reached my original goal of being able to handle all three workloads in one day. I still have to work on that. So, I mean, imagine how long it would take to actually... Okay, yeah, someone quit. Great. We got to see someone quit before the video end ended. It unfortunately doesn't tell us who quit, so I have to guess. Well, it doesn't really matter. I can just rehire someone based on what workloads need done need to be done. But you can see how chaotic this can get, especially when it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. However, there's one thing that I wanted to point out uh, about smooth operators before I ended the video. Uh, that's, before I did this video, someone had sent me a question on Formspring, mentioning that they had seen, uh, they saw a game on Congregate called Corporation Inc., which seemed very similar to this game, a uh, free Flash game, which came out long before. I did take a look at, uh, an interview done with the developer of Smooth Operators, who did say he used Corporation as his inspiration. But, uh, just how much of an inspiration? Well, I think we should probably take a little look at Corporation Inc. We'll just take a quick look at Corporation just to see how much Smooth Operators might have been inspired by it. Okay, start a new game. Yeah, Muffin's fine for our name. We'll start off with medium difficulty, $20,000 starting budget. Start building. Alright, and here we are in a very familiar looking environment. We have this wide open space and it goes up, marked by potential floors. This time it goes up to floor 131. It says we can complete objectives, special goals that earn us cash. Sounds kind of familiar. Okay, let's build stuff. Basic office space. Basic office space holds... Yeah, it's a, it's a wing that holds four workers. We'll build a few. At this point, it looks like we only have the one kind to build. We don't have a lobby, though. Uh, we can build... Let's see, we'll need transportation. We'll build an elevator shaft. This time, though, we have to put it directly on the office. And... Let's hire some workers. We can earn... Uh, sorry. We can buy normal workers, IT techs, janitors, supervisors, researchers. This seems a little bit similar, doesn't it? We can put our workers at their stations, and they start doing stuff which earns us money. Not entirely sure what it is they're doing. I don't think they're working at a call center. But they are sitting at computers earning money. Oh, something is broken. We have no IT workers. So let's hire some IT techs. We doesn't really matter where we put them, I think, because there are no specialized uh, wings. It looks like they hit computers with wrenches, though, instead of kicking them. Um, but the day ends, and they left one computer on fire. Let's see. Well, we can do research and development. People, rooms, office, transportation, building height, which, again, yeah, when we hired the project managers in uh, Smooth Operators, this seemed to be basically their, their role to do research for us so we could build additional things. Uh, we can put plants, yeah. Hey, we needed to do, to do research in Smooth Operators to get flowers. What is water cooler, coffee area, original artwork, vending machine. What are the other transportations? I can't see what they are. They're unlocked. They're locked to me right now. Extra space. Yeah, we can build a bathroom. Can't see what those others are, but I do see a fork and a knife, so I'm guessing that's a cafeteria. Yes, and we get totals at the end of the day. I didn't want to spend too much time looking at this, uh, I just wanted to point it out. It's... 
pretty similar, isn't it? I mean, actually, uh, I think I like Smooth Operators more than Corporation. I think that it seems a bit more polished. I do like the uh, the graphics and the audio a, a bit more, and I I do think that uh, those are original. It doesn't look like he took the assets from from Corporation. But as far as the game concept, um, I would say maybe saying that Smooth Operators was inspired. Maybe inspiration is too weak of a word, because this is really similar. Hmm. Well, he's not trying to hide it. He does say that this was the game he used to inspire uh, Smooth Operators, but still. If, uh... I mean, I guess whether or not that would bother you if you were interested in playing Smooth Operators, that's up to you. Um, hmm. But it's pretty similar. Well, that's just uh, just the note I wanted to, to end on. Smooth Operators, the fifth game available in the Indie Games Uprising 3. Uh, it's a pretty fun sim office type game, which... Pretty similar to a free flash game on Congregate. <laughs>